The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 full specification has been leaked and it has been confirmed 100% by Ice Universe today and he also confirmed the design change of the hinge and the outer display for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video. So guys, since from past few weeks we are hearing multiple reports about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 which pretty much confirm everything about the device. Today we have got another leak coming from Ice Universe which confirms the full specification of the upcoming Z Fold 4 alongside with the hinge and the outer screen display which is going to be coming for the Z Fold 4. We will discuss all this in this particular video so let's begin. So starting with the design of the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 4, it's coming with three biggest changes in terms of design. The number one is the hinge design. We are now going to see single hinge instead of the dual hinge mechanism and this single hinge will be going to connect both the panels of the Galaxy Z Fold 4 which in turn will lower the weight of the upcoming Z Fold 4. So this is going to be a big change in terms of the foldable design. The second big design change is going to be the camera layout that is coming from the back of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Instead of the last year Fold 3, you are expected to see the Galaxy S22 Ultra like camera bump on the back side. And you are moving forward to the third major change which is going to be coming for the Z Fold 4 is obviously going to be that it's having a new aspect ratio and it's going to be slimmer and smaller as compared to the last year Fold 3. This change could be slight but it is coming with the Fold 4. And you're moving forward towards the display side the galaxy z fold 4 in a display is going to be coming with the slimmer bezels all around the corner it's going to be coming with a same 7.6 inch of 120 hertz qxga amoled display which is going to be same as the last year galaxy z fold 3 so obviously there is no change in terms of the screen dimensions for the galaxy z fold 4. And you know, the front of the display is also coming with a new ultra thin glass technology that is going to be slightly more durable than the last year model. Obviously the one biggest complaint for the Fold 3 is that it's coming with the crease in the center of the device. So in Z Fold 4 the crease is still there but it's going to be slightly much more improved than the Fold 3. Moving forward, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 will also going to be support the S Pen, but also just like the Fold 3, its S Pen is not coming in the body of the device. You have to buy it separately and plus you have to buy another case in order to carry the S Pen alongside with your device. You also get the IPX8 rating for the device and the front is also coming with an under panel camera sensor which is going to be same 4 megapixel camera sensor that you have seen already in the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So don't expect a better quality of images. Maybe Samsung brings some optimization in terms of the software but overall the pictures will be same as the Fold 3. Moving on towards the outer display we have the same 6.2 inch of 120Hz HD plus AMOLED display on the outer display of the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and this time around the outer display will have a slimmer bezel as compared to last year and also it will have a new aspect ratio of 23 by 9 which is going to be slightly improved than the last year Fold 3 but not a drastic change on the outer display as well. The outer display will also going to be coming with a punch hole selfie camera of 10 megapixel. So if inner display selfie cameras are not good then you definitely use the outer display camera sensor for selfies. And you are talking about the cameras, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 will be coming with a new camera sensor for this time around. It's the first time that you have seen an upgrade in the camera sensor in terms of foldable devices. The Z Fold 4 will be coming with a 50 megapixel of a main camera sensor instead of the 12 megapixel sensor that was coming on all the last three generation of the Fold device. So this is a big change. The new 50 megapixel of a sensor is going to be the same as the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus. So do expect a better quality of images and videos and even 8K recording video can be supported by this 50 megapixel sensor. The second camera sensor is going to be the same ultra wide camera sensor that you have seen in the last year Fold 3. The last camera is going to be a 10 megapixel of a telephoto lens which is coming with a 3 time of optical zoom capability. This is going to be a telephoto camera sensor that Ice Universe report is going to be even better than the S22 Ultra telephoto lens. And you know, these are some of the camera upgrades which you can see for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Moving towards the internals, here we have a new Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor which is going to be coming for the Galaxy Z Fold 4 which is going to be one of the fastest chipset currently available for the 
Android side. Obviously, the performance will be increased and uh, the battery efficiency will be better in the Galaxy Z Fold 4 thanks to the new Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. It's coming with a 12GB of RAM option with 256 and 512GB of internal storage. As far as the battery capacity is concerned, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 will be coming with the same 4400mAh of a battery cell with 25W of fast charging support. Unfortunately, the battery hasn't been upgraded in the Galaxy Z Fold 4. I was expecting that Samsung will be bringing at least 5000mAh of a battery capacity but still, we don't see any kind of improvement in the battery department. So guys, overall the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is not a major upgrade, only slightly changes could be seen in the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Like we have a new and a better camera sensor, a new hint and a new processor are going to be coming. These are the three major changes which are going to be coming for this Galaxy Z Fold 4. Other than that, other than that, all the spec sheet are same. And you guys, these are some of the leaks and rumors coming for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this new Z Fold 4? Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Peace.